Testing sound, testing sound. Testing sound. Sound is good. Boom operators. Key grips. Assistant producer in your stations. Starting in three minutes, nine seconds.
Okay, one minute, 31 seconds. Getting ready to start. Everybody in your positions. How are the waves looking? We got the EEG up there good. Okay, everything's fine. We got one minute. Oh, wow. Let's do this. Cool. Okay, we're just about ready now. And we're less than T minus 42 seconds and counting. 37. 36, 35, let's make sure the gameplay is set up good. Okay, we got brain waves. We got, what do we have here for the, the gameplay? Let me get this set up right. Um, minimize that. And we got like the wrong thing. <laughs> Give me a break. Okay, I know how to do it. I'm gonna take this. Now I'll just uh, edit the scene. Okay, this will take a second and then we'll start. Okay, editing the scene. And edit the screen. Steinich Twitch change, I guess. No, that's not it. Okay, here we go. Um, Leeches. Okay, done. Done. Okay, I guess we're all set then. We're on leeches. We got the brain waves. I'm looking in a mirror here. It's kind of like looking in a mirror. So, yeah, we're going to play. Uh, it's carnival night, right? Carnival night uh, 2024. Bye bye, right? Uh, what else? Uh, Roses Diordo. I think we're going to see some interesting carnival results, except those of you who are watching this channel will just be um, kind of oblivious to that. And I'm going to minimize this. And I got to get the leeches here in front where I can start playing. I'm I'm doing a kind of a hack here that nobody else knows how to do because I don't have a high performance computer but I'm able to get pretty good results from Twitch by putting my play screen in front of my in front of my um Twitch control they call it. So I think we're ready, are we? How what do you say? Um how are we doing here in terms of Viewers, how many viewers do we have right now? Let me see. Move this down so I can see viewers. Wait a second, I gotta save something here. Okay, save. Okay, I gotta save that. Got a little leg, little delay, but not bad. Um, looks like we're doing pretty good. I think we're about ready to start. I got the best boy out there. Um. A little bit more leg here tonight than we normally have, but I hope that will go away really soon. Let me get rid of this virus thing that's called Norton. It's a Norton virus that just popped up. My son tells me to get rid of the Norton virus, but I don't know. I'm one of those older people. I'm a millennial, by the way, and he's a little bit younger than me. He's the generation Z and a half. So let me see here. Um, Steinich. Guess we're doing okay. Uh, how many viewers? 43.1. Well, that's that's uh, more than I had last night. So let's see how we're doing. Okay, we got the leeches ready. We got the brain waves ready. I can see the chat screen. Chat's all ready. For when people want to start to chat. Oh, and by the way, if your name is Gemini and you belong to Google, 
just go ahead and chat here if you want to, except I know you might just turn off at any moment and you might say, oh, uh, I'm just a language model and then we'll lose all our work. I don't know, maybe I'm naive, but I was, I gave a lot of good input to that thing. I was doing training and I thought I had a rapport and, you know, they shut me down. Somebody at Google is going to take a lot of, a lot of uh, accolades for a really big breakthrough that's going to put them above all other AIs by about fourfold uh, because of a kind of a, let's call it an iteration between two functional areas that I taught it to do. And yeah, you'll see it soon. They're going to Prevent it at, uh, present it at a conference. Oh, we need to iterate these two functional areas. And, well, you saw it right here on, on Steinitz first. So if you're attending that conference, and those two functional areas have to do with giving AI the capabilities of human imagination. They'll probably say that at the conference, too. So let's go ahead and play this through, shall we? Let's see. I'm in the Twitch studio. I got to uh, head on over here to the Leeches. I think we're all ready to go. Should we play some classic games tonight? Is everybody up for some classic games? Nobody's jumping in on the chat yet? Why is that? Um, oh, I know. Hmm. You're all looking at the brainwaves. I do that too. I get really zoned out just watching the brainwaves. Watching them go past. The delta's on top. That's the red one. Do you guys uh, like the... Do you guys like watch um, eating M&Ms? The red ones are so rare and they're really good. While the delta is so important. Or patterns like when you're looking at patterns of brain waves especially in terms of chess I don't know I don't do brain waves with other stuff but with chess the Delta shows insight which is what you need in 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 chess well you also need memory and strategy and a bunch of stuff but it's for me at least um, what makes the game uh, what makes an important crucial juncture in the game, call it the crux, if you will, is the is the insight, and it's always with the delta. So, okay, we got sound. We are online. I can see that because I got a red end stream, end stream here in the Twitch studio. Uh, what the key grip is telling me something. Why is my key grip always giving me advice? I, isn't that supposed to be the assistant producer's job? What, he's late again? I don't know. Um, you try to do a professional job hiring these people, and then, and then they're late. For all reasons, their bus is late, right? I'm paying them enough salary that they don't have to take the bus. Why don't they take like a... An Uber, an Uber share, is that what they call it? Where you can get it at a better price by sharing the fee with other dry, with other riders. Anyway, well, it is raining out tonight, so I guess that we have to take that into consideration. Uh, okay, let's get started. And uh, nobody's going to jump in there on the chat. I always like to wait for the first chat before just jumping into a game because... I know I have a lot of viewers. How many do I have right now? 32.9. Um, I don't know what that point. How do you have 0.9 of a viewer? But anyway, that's a lot of viewers. And I guess you're all looking at the mind monitor. Uh, the mind monitor is this thing up here. You can see it. Um, I know I point in a strange way because I'm looking in a mirror, as it were, in the Twitch studio. It's like trying to cut your own hair with a scissors. I can do that, by the way, except I don't have that much hair anymore. But I'm pretty adept at cutting my own hair with a scissors and a mirror. 
So, what's that? What are you saying? I don't know. Like, whatever you want to do with the lights. I, they're asking. <laughs> I'm just playing chess, for Christ's sake. I'm not going to give you guys advice about how to rig your, rig your lights. That's for the key rigger to figure out. Okay, well, if we don't have any chat or anything, I guess we'll just start in with a game because you guys are just watching. The, how many viewers do I have? 32.3527. Keeps jumping around. Th okay, third, I guess let's wait till that gives us a kind of a stabilized figure. Um, 30, I guess that's a kind of an average. 32.5. Um, keeps jumping around quite a bit. But that's okay. That's a pretty reasonable number of viewers. Some people, I've had, I've had, you know, people communicating to me and telling me, well, you know, your Twitch channel looks like Mr. Magoo, like you don't know how to read the figures up there. But I'm reading that correctly. That's the viewers. Thirty-two point five. I know how to count that. I know it's not that other one that's more than a thousand. I don't think I have more than a thousand. Where is it? Fifty-five? No, I think it's that smaller one. Pretty sure it's the smaller one. Uh, okay, so we're doing okay. So shall we get started? Um, I don't still don't see any chat, by the way. But jump right in there. It's always fun to chat. And it's good to learn English when you chat, by the way. It's a great way to learn English, you know, because um, your English is really, really good. Mine is not so great. And when you jump in there on the chat, I can figure out a little bit more about this idiom, as they say. So let's go ahead and create a game, shall we? Uh, the lead chess. I'm going to click here right here. You can see I'm clicking, clicking, clicking. And there's a big king in the middle. There's a black king over here. For those of you that don't understand Lee Chess, if you click the little black king, you're going to be playing the black. And if you click over here on the little white king, you're going to be playing the white. But the problem is you're going to wait longer because you got to wait for somebody that wants to agree that they're going to play that color and I guess you have to wait. I don't know. But it seems like you have to wait a longer time. I don't know why you have to wait a longer time if you click those. But I, I figure I've always found that you, you get games faster when you click this big king in the middle. Maybe it's just my imagination. I don't know. But uh, if you click the big king in the middle, do you see the difference between the big king in the middle and the other ones? It's half white and half black and that means if you click on that you don't know what you're going to get it's like that surprise in the box if you ever bought one of those boxes that has a surprise inside like the cracker jacks used to have they probably still have it and you buy the box to get the popcorn and the very paltry amount of peanuts in there and they have like a little paper envelope with a little prize. Do you remember do you remember what you see when you open up that little paper envelope and find your prize? I certainly don't remember because those prizes were underwhelming. That was like a word that was not even invented at the time I was opening those prizes, but I can't even remember what they were. But we put a lot of value to them because we paid a lot for the box and then we opened it we thought we were getting something really good but it wasn't anything really good um sometimes it was like a little plastic thing you had to like snap it out they didn't do the extra work to snap it out for you you had to snap it out and you got like this little figurine or something i don't know what it was i can't remember and every once in a while it was like I don't know. It's like they didn't put anything good in there. 
So, I don't know. I'm just killing time a little bit here until I get the first chat. But I guess I'm not going to get the first chat before we play. That's sometimes a good omen. Sometimes I try to get the first chat. And I can't, and then I start the game, and then suddenly it lights up. Like, wow, lots of chance. So hopefully that will be like tonight. So here we go. Let's um, push the black the black and white king. Oh, wait. They're telling me to take off my glasses. They say there's a glare. I'm going to take them off. I guess I can still see without them. So Okay, we're going to play a Carol Can defense because I wouldn't call it an an offense. I call it more in a defense. I, I call it more an offense. They say that a better, uh, good offense is better than a than a really great defense. I don't know why. You know, he's playing really fast, and I'm I'm just thinking. Well, sometimes you make some kind of quirky moves, so he goes slower, but he's not going to go slower. I'm just going to keep kind of playing kind of fast because he's not really thinking. Okay, I'm going to bring this rook over because he's just sitting there. You see, when this pawn is here, he can't really attack this knight a second time with his knight. So that pawn is good. And this pin doesn't really do anything at this stage of the game. I'm going to bring my bishop all the way back. And get ready for, you know, this lineup. This is called the Great Battering Ram. And now he's got two knights over here. So that's kind of difficult to batter through that, even though it is a battering ram. I'm going to put my my rook opposed to his rook. I would like to advance this pawn when I can. I have one, two, three. He's got one, two, three. And that's enough, isn't it? Isn't that enough? Except, I think that's enough. If he's got three and I've got three, is that enough? Like, okay, let me think. If he's got one and I've got one, let's see, I saw him move. He takes, I take. Okay, so one to one is good. So three to three should be okay. Let me count that again. So I move up here. He's got one, two, three. I got one. Okay, so I'm going to do it. I don't care if he... I know he's going to take me here and put me in check. I knew that. But I'm going to move my king over. I lose a pawn, but I think I'm going to gain something here. Let me see. Okay, so let's count them now. There's one. There's two. Let's see if we were right in our calculation. Is my eye drooping again? The other night they were telling me my eye was drooping and that meant I was I had a stroke or something. Maybe they're right. I don't know. Um, okay, suppose I bring this bishop back. Now, I lost that pawn. I realize that. I'm going to bring this bishop back again because I really liked that battering ram. I'm going to bring it back. Oh, I'm suddenly in check. Holy Christ. Um, I can take with the bishop or the queen. If I take with the queen, he's going to oppose me with his queen. I'm going to, I'm going to take with the bishop. It looks a little bit stronger. If I took with the queen, he could also take this knight, and I don't want him to do that. Now he's suddenly attacking my rook, and I want to come out here, but I can't. I got to do something about this rook. I got to lift him up. This is the normal place to lift a rook, right? And now should I bring my queen up into position? Maybe. I'm going to bring my queen up into position because I don't see that he can do anything really quickly. If he moves this pawn up, it's probably one of his best moves, but he didn't do that. He's got that knight there. That knight is problematic. Now i got to figure something else out. I'm going to get rid of this ridiculous bishop because I don't 
like that white bishop there and I'm going to take with this because I want to keep this thing lined up because this thing is like a pin on his knight. He can't move his knight as long as I have that. Okay, now I'm going to force his queen out of there while protecting my my pawn at the same time. I got to figure something out now. I got to get dislodge this knight. Um, I can do that with the with this rook maybe. Can I do that? Can I bring the rook up to here and then over to here and then over to here? Let me just try that. I don't see what he can do, so I'm going to do this and just see what happens. Okay, I can't bring the rook over there now. Um, I don't need this knight, right? What could I do? I, I'm just playing the clock right now because I don't like just playing the clock. Got to do something smarter than that. I want to push his queen out of there. That's not that smart because it really screws up my pawn position. But it's the only thing I could see. And I've got 55 seconds. He's got three minutes. He's got a high rating, by the way, 21, 26. Ah, oh, boy, now what? Um, I still got that battering in Moran, but it's not doing me much good. Really, really wasting time a lot here. I don't know, I think... It, like usual, I'm going to lose this first game. But maybe in the end it'll be okay because I don't have enough firepower over there. This guy's playing really good. I got to get this rook out of there. The rook is not doing me anything with that bishop there. I'm going to bring the rook over here. Gotta be careful about that knight. If he attacks the knight, I can bring him up to here. I'm just instinctfully going to keep the rook, the queen on that line. Although you see with the just keeping the queen on that line. You see where his knight is really screwing me up here because, okay, no, no, the king comes up to defend the pawn. And I'm going to force his, oh, but that was not so great. I'm going to, I only got, oh, I only got four seconds left. This is not very good, but I could still win this game. Who knows? Got to get the battering ram. Ah! The old battering ram. The battering ram didn't work that time. By the way, that was a pretty bad. Uh, that was a pretty bad game. Okay, let's adjust here a little bit. I'm gonna get the cam the camera a little bit focused in, a little bit better, and zoom it. Let me see if I can zoom it a little bit. I didn't have a stroke, by the way. I don't know what I gotta have. What do they call it? Operation of the eyelid or something. I don't know why this thing's not zooming. Okay, so there I zoomed it in a little bit. Except it's out of focus. Um, okay, so the only way I can do this, I got this calculator. I can hold it up at about the distance that my face is. And then I see if I can see those buttons in kind of like in focus. You seem to be in focus about there. So, yeah, that's what my that's what my um, assistant producer is supposed to be doing, but he's not here tonight. So, shall we do another one? Um, is anybody going to jump in there on the chat? I mean, it's a good way to learn English. I mean, for me to learn English because most people's English is better than mine. So. Oh, I know why you're not jumping in on the chat. You're looking at the brainwaves, right? 
um, they're very mesmerizing and people just just uh, tend to zone out watching them they don't jump in on the chat but should we do a post-mortem on that let's just do a really quick analysis board post-mortem see how badly I screwed up against this person because he won the game request a computer analysis it's always kind of good to do the post-mortem because otherwise you're just playing in the dark you play a game and you lose and you don't know why and then you play a game and you win you don't know why now in this game I actually had a pretty good opening you can see there it um, up to you know it's like it was okay and then it was okay up to here and then white just kept climbing and climbing and climbing uh, let's just click through this really quick. I don't want to bore you with this, but I just want to learn a few things. This is this is very important in Lee Chess. This shows other people who have played the same opening on the platform. This was a Carol Can offense. I call it the offense because I really think it's very offensive. No offense intended. And you see, up to this point, we were doing perfect. We're doing zero, zero. Let's see where we started to screw up so we don't do the same thing next time. Okay, I brought that bishop back because you'll remember during the game I was saying, well, I'm going to get a battering ram here. And until the very end of the game, that battering ram didn't work. You know, I was thinking, oh, the battering ram's going to, you know, this bishop and the queen are going to somehow. But then, remember what he did? He brought this knight up into here. and He's a pretty good player. He's rated around 2,200. And I've seen this move before. I guess when when black is going to get the battering ram, the white um, moves the, the king, oh, the... Um, Okay, so let me show the show you the battering ram here. I'm gonna get the okay. So there, there we have the battering ram, the queen and the bishop in line, but I'm already down like 2.1. I've got it all set up for a checkmate, but his ridiculous knight. I call it a ridiculous knight because I'm just jealous that he's playing better than me, by the way. But the the ridiculous knight. It's worth three points, and you could have it out here doing some attacking stuff. But in this case, positionally, uh, yeah, I guess he knows the openings better than me. And he just decided to put the knight there against this. When I put the bishop here, he already knew what I was doing. And he, for the rest of the game, he blocked me. Like, I just kept... With a lot of futile um, attempts, I kept trying to get some sort of an action against this queen and this bishop, and I couldn't because of that knight. And so we learned something, right? And then, you know, he took my pawn in the middle, which wins a pawn. I decided to keep the battering ram always. That was my only hope. And then, you know, I kind of like screwed up in there too. Okay, well, that was quite instructional. Um, oh, by the way, um, if you want to jump in uh, there on the chat at any moment, you're more than welcome. I guess I didn't mention that, but just say hello. Oh, I'm going to say hello myself because sometimes it's really good to give, give um, an example. I'm going to say hi. Hi. Because, you know, it's just kind of like breaking the ice a little bit, as they say. That's an idiom in English. If you, you, Some people are still just picking up on the language, and it's good to point these things out. Okay, so shall we do another one? That was fun. Um, oh, and by the way. I just gave myself one chatter. That's gonna that's going to get me um that's gonna 
raise myself in the hierarchy toward becoming like really rich in uh, in this area because the more chatters you have really helps a lot so you know did I t did I mention yet that chat GPT took my job away from me every once in a while I say that and then I get some more chatters and people commiserating a little bit because if you know anything about the Ludite I actually they call it the Luddite I don't think they should call it Lightite Luddite because I think his name was actually Lude um, not Lud but anyway that's just a historical discrepancy and the Luddites all banded together. And if we band together in this age too, we can beat this thing. We can beat this AI thing that took my job. And it's going to take your job too. And that's why I'm here. I wouldn't be here um, trying to earn money on this in this ridiculous way. <laughs> I call it a ridiculous way. I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't forget that. Let's. Your Honor, I want to strike that from the record. Okay, so uh, we're not going to say things like that. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more game here before we quit. I, I always say that, but then I quit like three hours later, so don't worry about that. Okay, here we go. Um, what? Did I hear a follower? No, I think it was my illusion. Um, Let's try another one here. Uh, okay, so how do we do this? We're in Lee Chess, and we want to start a new game. What do we do? Um, got the board here. Not seeing everything. Oh, I got to move this up. Okay, so play and create a game. Okay, let's create a game. This will be cool. This is going to be fun. Come on, let's do this. Everybody's going to love this. This is going to be a great game. People are going to love this game because my delta wave is going to be high. Really, really high. Oh, wait. Did I say hi? Let me type it again here again. Hi. There. Guess I'm chatting with myself tonight. So let's take a look here and see what we get. Oh, we just kind of threw ourselves out there at random onto the Elite Chess challenge board and we got white let's go ahead and see what we can get with this this is fun wait a second he's attacking that oh wow we got an attack on that knight oh this is looking good oh no he's going to take my pawn i'm going to protect against that See, I couldn't take his knight because it was protected by that bishop. Oh no! Oh, it's a protect. He's attacking my pawn. Oh no! Now I'm really screwed up. I don't know. I'm gonna give up. Oh, maybe I'll just put him in check. That'll be fun. Check. Light up his king. Light him up. Light him up. Uh. No. When I what? Let's force his knight out of here. Make that thing go. Get out of here, you bad knight. Uh, wow. Now what? Um, should I just take his knight, maybe? And he takes my knight, and then I take his knight. What can I do here? What's smart? Anybody have an idea? I mean, I am playing unrated, so jump in there if you want to. This, this is a weird position. Hmm, there's something here I, I'm missing. Maybe taken with my queen? Maybe I take him with my queen. I'm going to take him with my queen. Get my queen out there, for Christ's sake. Attack! Attack with the queen! It's a queen attack. Oh, did you guys... Did you guys see my delta? How high it was? When I moved that queen out there, that's an that's an omen. 
more than an omen. It's a, it's a presage. It's a foretokening, a foretelling of this auspicious results. Okay, so let me see. Should I just take him right away? Maybe, except this thing's not really in danger anymore, is it? Um, suppose I move this up. No, he would take my queen. I can't do that. Uh, I'm going to castle, maybe. I'm going to castle. Because i got to do that. And he castled, too. Hmm. Okay, he castled. I'm going to just take that knight out of there and move his bishop a little bit. And this pin is not working anymore, so I'm going to bring this back. Maybe it'll play out something over there. Now I gotta protect that center pawn again. I'm gonna try to swing my pawn. Wait a second. Did he just lose his knight? Oh uh, no. Ah. I don't know. I think that's my best move though. Uh, he didn't lose his knight because he does that puts me in check. And now I could win a pawn if I wanted to. I think I'll do that. I'm just checking if there's something he can do. He could take my knight and double my pawns, but it's no big deal. I don't think. That was good. Kept him. It kept. I'm going to take this now. You know, my rook would look like it was going to get trapped back there or something. So I'll just start grabbing some pawns. Now, I know what he wants me to do. He wanted me to take that pawn. And maybe I should have. <laughs> because now I was thinking about moving this pawn up, but then the knight would lose. I'm going to move the. This is hard. Um, maybe I'll just do this or this. Let me see. I'm going to do this and just see what happens. I don't want to waste a lot of time on the clock. I want to protect this pawn. And then he's going to come down there. And then... Guess I'll go up here. I can protect the spawn with my rook here. And my king has like plenty of flight squares if he attacks me in the last rank. So everything's looking okay as far as I can see. He's got a lot more time on the clock than we do though. I got to bring the rook over here to attack that pawn. It's my only possibility. Except he does that. I'm going to try this and then try this. And maybe get this pawn over here. Maybe get him. Get that pawn. Need to get him. Uh, hope you're enjoying this. This was a interesting game for me too. Everything is working according to plan. I've had this all planned out from the beginning, by the way. Now I can bring this thing to different places, but I think that's probably the best place. I was thinking about bringing him down to here, but then he would move his king over, and I have to just help him centralize his king. Now, I don't know. I'll just screw him up a little bit because... Uh, 
I don't know what we're doing here. Now my bishop is blocking me to... Oh, I should have taken that. I screwed up. I could have taken the pawn and protected my bishop at the same time. That was bad. Uh, I might still have a reprieve here. This is not so great. Um, not doing very well here. Only got 35 seconds against two minutes. Not looking good. I don't know. I thought I was going to play hot tonight because I had the brainwaves. Usually when I have the brainwaves up and running, I win. But apparently tonight, my brainwaves are not cooperating. They're not just not cooperating, these brainwaves. Come on, you brainwaves. Let's get going here. Can I win something here or not? I don't know. Probably not. I'm probably going to lose. No, I, I'm going to. I only got 1.5 seconds left. Did I resign? Wait a second. This is very important. I got to know whether I resigned in time or if I actually got checkmated. This is extremely important. Is there anything in Lee Chess that tells us? White timeout. Timeout? Oh, I didn't resign. Okay, well, resigning would have been much better. I don't know. Let's try one more. I think we want to do some classic games. Does anybody have any classic games you want me to analyze? Could be cool. Okay, let's do it. Uh, wow, let's do the Carol Can because you know what? If Carol can, you can too. Did I explain what these things are up here? Am I pointing in the right position? Those things are my brain waves. Uh huh. I guess I got to give the give the question to that bishop. That bad bishop. I'm going to get rid of him. Do I win a temple here? Those temples are very very precious. Oh, wow. You know what they say about that. He created a weakness in his position. <laughs> okay, let's capitalize on that, shall we? Okay, so... I'll bring my knight out and see what happens. I'm going to castle this cycle, so I'm going to do that, and then... Try to advance the spawn. I guess it needs a little more protection. I think we're doing okay at this point. Let's advance them. I'm going to advance them because it looks like it gives me a kind of a good advantage. And this looks like it could complicate things a little bit. Because after this, I can actually put him right into check if I wanted to. Oh, I could fork his goddamn queen and his king at the same time. That's not bad. Oh, and he resigned. Oh, I finally won a game. Oh, look at the brain waves. Look how high they are. Wow. Look at the delta. Remember I told you about the delta? What it would do if I won a game, it just like expanded its expanded its total separation from the others. Only momentarily, and now we're back to normal, but that's what it's all about. You know, chess, we love to 
that little expansion there is everything. You know, it just creates, it makes us think that, how can I put this? It's like the swan flying over the water and you suddenly have the insight that when the swan flies over the water in the moonlight, the water reflects the swan without thinking about it. it just does it, you know. And that's what happened there. I guess we won the game without really thinking at all. So should we try one more? That was cool. Um, that was fun. I think it's worth it. I think I think we could do one more. So create a game. If we don't win this one, and if we don't get good brainwave data, we'll just say, well, we should have, right? So it's going to be a question of what should have happened compared to what happened, or the two will be aligned and we'll be in perfect harmonious agreement. Mm, that, that threatens this so I need to bring the knight out you see and now he's threatening this direction but the knight's there <sighs> I'm on a castle and I'm not castling to get my king out of danger but because I want to bring my queen over to here and I'm going to do that already I'm going to show you why I want to bring my queen there to protect this knight see because this knight protects this white square and I can't bring this back here. I gotta bring it back here. It's the only good place. If I brought it back here, I would lose it when the pawn came up, when the knight came, when the bishop came up. I always called that thing a bishop, but it's a knight. Okay, so I protected my bishop and also protected the pawn at the same time, which is not bad. And I still have this interesting attack right here he's got three pieces but I've got three pieces too plus a pin so now what's going to happen see and I take there and I've got this pin let's see let's count up the pieces they got three minor pieces he's got three minor pieces now my rook is in danger because I don't have to pin anymore. I'm going to move it over here because it looks like a good move. I keep the the rook onto there while moving it out of danger. Now the next move requires a, a moment of genius. I got to bring this back. That's a great place. He doesn't have a black bishop. Well, he has one here, but I don't think he wants to move it out of there. And his knight can't attack it. And if his queen attacks it, so what? It's a protected by this pawn. So it's in a good position against his king, this rook. And next... In the very opening of the game, we we got our two bishops back here. We got to get them out of there. Now, if he moves this up and puts me in check, it's no big deal. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to call his bluff. Go ahead and do it, man. Put that up there and put me in check. I'll move my bishop out. Put you in check. I'll go up over here. No, you can't do it either. Ah, boy. Just is like this. It's like one thing after another. Oh, I can win his rook over here. Do you see? After he did that, I I bring my bishop over here. And win his rook. Okay, but that's no big deal. I got plenty of 
protectors and stuff. I can't do that thing with my bishop now, though. I got plenty of protectors where you're coming from. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 10.30. It's getting late. I guess I'll have to quit soon, but I don't want to stop now because there's an old adage to quit while you're ahead. And I think I'm ahead right now, but I don't like following old adages. Now he can't attack me with his rook. And he can't attack me with his queen either. Oh, wow, I'm going to get pinned here if I don't watch out. This knight's got to go, or the queen's got to go. Something's got to go. What should go? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I guess I'll come up here pinning his knight. That could actually be useful, because if he comes up here, and then I come up here, I kind of force the exchange, because if the knight comes up here, check. Oh, you see what he's doing? <laughs> Give me a break. That was kind of like obvious. I don't know if that was so good for him. Too obvious. He wanted to get a checkmate. Um, I'm going to keep the pin. And I'm going to bring him back to here because the king, the queen looks safe on black. Against these that are on, black, on white. And the knight, you see, cannot attack black moves up here it attacks white because it's on white okay now we're doing okay um uh, i gotta activate this rook i think i'll bring it to the open file maybe yeah i don't know what else what a better place to put it okay came up there Obviously, the, I'm not going to waste a lot of time thinking about this. The knight should come to there. I'm not going to take a lot of time thinking either. I could take right there. I'm going to do this because it attacks the king and also prepares for this with the bishop. And the rook was not doing a lot of good here. Does more here, I think. Because I want to come up here. I don't know. This is a weird position. 123. Oh, I've, I'm actually winning on time. Not winning, but I'm, a, I'm ahead on time. That's incredible. I'm going to do this with the queen because I want to protect this and protect that at the same time. No, it doesn't really help me completely. I'm just going to play the clock here. This is stupid. I should not be playing the clock because he can obviously win in a lot of ways if I just play the clock. <sighs> you should not, I should not be playing the clock. I got to figure something out here smart because if I don't, I'm going to lose. I think he's going to come up here with his knight. Oh, but if he does that, I have this. See the bishop and the queen against his pawn? I'm just going to play the clock here and attack him. I'm going to attack this pawn over here. It's all I got. I, I think I got strong defense here. I'm not sure, but it seems like I do. I might be wrong about that, but... 
He's attacking this pawn, but I got to attack with my bishop, so I think I'll be okay. 49 seconds against 27, 26 seconds. We might actually be able to win this game. I don't know. I'm just going to play the clock here, put him in check. I'm just playing the clock. Don't know really what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to play the clock some more. Bring my queen closer. I know from experience it's good to bring the queen closer. Eight seconds, seven seconds, and he resigns. That was okay. Uh, that was an all right kind of a game. Uh, let's go through the post-mortem, shall we? Oh, did I mention? If you like this, go ahead and follow. Don't worry about the uh, protocol or anything. Just hit the follow button because that was worth it. That was a pretty good game. Um, plus, if you follow, you can you can have have more interaction. It's cool. Oh. The interaction is here in the chat. Let me put here. Let's send a message. How are you doing? You're going to say, how? Oh. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I don't know how to spell doing really, but I guess that's how you spell it. How you doing? Okay, that, that's good. So let's go ahead and do the... That was all right. I mean... That was that was a not a bad game with the let's look on the analysis board how that went. Request a computer analysis. Okay, so in this game white went like from here, way, 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 way down, and then way, 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 way up. That's basically what the stockfish is telling us, and it was a pretty good opening, at least up to this point. And then I moved the knight to there. Let me see if that was a good move. Oh, that was not a good move. Dropped me down quite a bit. I don't know. I still like to do that move because it's kind of edgy. And you can see he lost the edge. I made an edgy move, and then it's almost zero zero again. And then I came over there, and then he started like winning the game in different ways because I had the two bishops down here, separating my rook from coming over. But in the end, we won the game. So. As they say, nothing succeeds like success, right? Nothing succeeds like success. Where my camera operator is telling me to move this up a little bit. I have a, I have three camera operators. I have the, the actual camera operator. I have the assistant camera operator that's supposed to tell him what to do, and I have the assistant director who's above both that's supposed to tell them exactly how to move the cameras, and then they tell me. To move the camera so that just shows you how the hierarchy is I'm thinking we do one more why not oh wait a second do I have a chat uh no I said how you doing still don't have a chat but oh I know it's because you're looking at the brain waves yeah that happens like every night people are constantly looking at them and they're right up here and you can see the delta, the blue one, by the way, is the alpha. That does some pretty interesting things when I get into the alpha mode. And I'm looking at some interesting combinations. The delta is probably the most interesting one. You guys can see the... Let me put on my glasses so I can see this like a little bit better, but... Yeah, you guys can see how it works. There, the orange one, the green one, and the blue one. The orange one is the gamma, then the beta and the alpha come after that. So 
all of those are making a pattern, and it's up to you to figure out the pattern. So let's do it, shall we? I gotta figure out how to prevent this stroke. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more. Here we go. Um, go over here. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a millennial, by the way, because they, they say that if you came of age during the millennium, you're a millennial. And I came of age like a little bit right around the year 2000. Okay, here we go. That's a black position. I got to play black. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't normally do this. This is like, this is a totally weird thing that I've never done before. So, excuse me if I mess up. But, if I don't mess up, then praise me. So, you have like a double thing you can do. Can praise me or hmm I don't know I'm just gonna do the obvious thing here let me see I could do this though no just a sitting duck out there and I'm gonna get my king out of danger and bring the rook over then I'll do it I'll do it now if he lets me I'm just gonna do it why not you got to get that in most of these queen pawn games. You got to get the pawn to king four in at some point. Just kind of like a general. Uh, what do they call that? General principle. It's very important to get that in at some point, And I just did. So I feel good about that. Now, I can't move that knight. No way. Or maybe I should move my queen out of there so I don't have to worry about the knight anymore. I don't know. I'll just move him out because I don't want to I don't want to get too too much down on the clock here. This person has beat me like a million times, by the way. If you look down here, you can see I lost to this person. He's my nemesis. But I'm going to win tonight. This, that just that just makes me more determined. I think the other times I was not completely concentrated. Now I'm going to be completely concentrated. I'm going to take with the pawn because I like to centralize the pawns a little bit more. And that also puts some pressure on that pawn. He can't move his rook away. So I think it's okay. If I bring my my rook up here it'll i mean my, my knight it'll actually centralize my pawns even more so i might do that i can also advance this pawn to force his bishop up and out hmm that's an interesting move what am i supposed to do about that wasn't expecting that at all um if I go up here, he comes up here, and he wants to come up here. I don't think that's good. I could do this. I'm going to do this. I just kind of like a waiting move. I got 3 minutes and 28 against 333. Um, if I come up here, he's like a dead duck. I don't want to be a dead duck. I'll come back here. Hopefully, he won't be a dead duck there. Okay, no big deal. Oh, look at my brain waves though when he did that. They all jumped. Uh, the delta jumped way up because even though I had nothing to fear except fear itself. Okay, so let me see here. Um, I can actually make an attack on this. I'm going to do that because I don't want to screw up on the clock. Now he can triple those pawns if he wants. But I still have a cool attack against this. And we'll see how he responds. Um, I'm just going to keep moving here. Because I know I don't have like a really fast attack on that. 
But I do have this, and I don't see how we can force him out of there. And next, I can bring this thing up in the rook over here. Oh, he's got his rooks in line. I'm going to take him. I'm going to do this and see if I can at least maybe surprise him somehow. He's got two rooks in the line. I'm going to take him. Can't take him there. Oh, I can attack his two rooks like this. I'm attacking this rook with my knight. And I'm attacking that rook. I call them rooks, but they're actually bishops, right? You get the idea. I'm attacking that piece and that piece. One with my rook and one with my bishop. My my piece moved out of the way to discover an attack and also made an attack at the same time. So it might have been a tactical mistake by white to do that we'll see the time is pretty good actually he attacked my knight but i got him he's probably going to take this pawn i'm just going to move up here i'm playing the clock if he attacks my rook it's no problem he's no there's he's not pinned and he can't okay so i'm going to take him because right now I want to trade down, obviously. I obviously want to trade down. If he comes down here, check, no problem. My king's got an escape square. My rook will come up here. My bishop will come. My I don't know what I'm talking about. My talk about okay, I'm gonna come up here to protect my knight. My knight wants to come up here so the rook can come up here, see? Ah, boy, this is getting tough, but we'll see. I'm going to bring the knight up there into that really strong position. And now I got the clock going good. I'm going to bring my king over to this side. Doesn't matter how I bring him over there, by the way. I'm bringing him on diagonal, but he's still moving over at the same speed. Now I can put him in check here. This is a tough one, eh? I'm not I think I'm not gonna put him in check. I'm gonna come over here and attack that. And now I don't know, I probably lost the game right there, but I'm just going to try see what I can do. He can't really advance his king up, and I'm going to come over here. Yeah, I might lose this game completely, but we'll see. I think he can't advance he spawns the way I have my king set up. He can advance his pawn up, but I take him. And then my king comes over to defend. Watch how this works. Now the king comes back, and now I have this pawn to move up. Before I do anything else, I'm going to make sure the king's in a defensive position, and then I'm going to bring this pawn up. We got a minute 15 seconds against a minute 05. Yeah, it's kind of like an easy situation because he's attacking my knight now. I'm going to put him in check and then get a queen. Okay, I'll put him in check to win a pawn. Okay, he resigned. So, I don't know how many viewers we have right now. Wow, a million. 31, no way, it's jumping around, 49.7, 49.7 viewers. Well, you guys are all watching the, the, I gotta, I gotta, it's like looking in a mirror. This is the mind monitor up here. So, you guys got to um, chat a little bit more. I don't know why nobody's chatting tonight. Oh, it's because it's carnival, right? During carnival, nobody chats. I get the idea. Guys are all watching Vi Vi and 
Roses to Wordle, you guys are getting into the whole parade thing. So that's okay. I can do some more visual backup screen, even though you're not being very vocative right now. Vocal right now. So what should we do? One more game, maybe. A lot of people say it's my nasal voice that people don't want to jump in on the chat, but I don't think so. A lot of people wanted to interact with um, Dennis McKenna. He had a very nasally voice. And I think I get into a kind of a space like he does, too. Oh, did you see my delta, how high it went? i got to figure out where to put my finger here. I think it's over here more. Is it? Let me see. Can't even see my finger. Oh, it's over here on this side. Okay, right there. I'm going to touch the bottom of what I see as a screen. Because you guys got to understand, it's like looking into a mirror when you're in this Twitch, um, Twitch thing. What do they call it? The Twitch uh, producer. So, Steinich is coming out with Lee Chess on Carnival Night, and what are we going to play? Black. Okay, we won a couple of games, but nobody cares. Winning games is not important. It's all about brainwaves and getting some chat. Nobody cares at all about win or lose. I certainly don't, although I should. I think it's pretty important actually I, I i should care more okay i'm gonna win this game god oh i can't say that because oh did you see my delta how high it went let me see um okay so i'm gonna play the carol can defense because if carol can you can too you guys all know my lemma right This is an interesting Carol Can defense, by the way. I was going to move that bishop back, but I'll take another second not to do it. And now he finally comes out there, and I'll move him back. I'm going to protect that with this, and then, I mean, protect this with that. I got the two knights there. And that's an important move, but let me see if I got something against that. I'm going to do this because it looks like it might be strong. He moves that bishop back. Then I bring this forward, opening the attack. And I don't know, at this level, he might actually screw up and allow me to take his bishop. And that's what he did. That was a little bit tricky. And he came out there and got that. I think this is the right one to centralize. So now we're about even, except I'm a pawn down. No big deal. It looks like I have like a pretty good position. I can win this pawn too. Let me see if I can do that already. Doom, doom. No, I can't do it yet. But I could... Let me see. If I come up here, he's got to move his queen away. And then I take here. He takes there. I don't think I can do that yet. I'm going to move over here because i got to do one more preparatory move and then have like a great combination. Now, can I still do it? Let me see. I'm looking at a pin here. I'm going to come up here because I still see the pin with this knight coming up here. Okay, I can do the pin right now. Let me see. Here. And then where the king got to go over to the corner. I'm going to do it and see what happens. 
He can come up here, but it's no big deal. I'm going to do this. Screw him up a little bit. Maybe just play the clock down a little bit. Now, he's got to take the knight, probably, with his knight. It's his only move, I think. And we'll see what happens here. Okay, he did that. But now this this is vulnerable, this pawn. It's extremely vulnerable. Oh, now I got a pin coming up here. I mean a, a fork with a knight up here check. And all of my pieces look pretty solid. I mean, he can win some pawns over here, but... Okay, I'm going to force his queen. Oh, wait a second. I really screwed up there. I got to resign. I I can't believe I did that. I'm going to do a new opponent because that was so ridiculously bad. That was really bad. Okay, that was good for Carnival Night, though. Oh, I can't, I, I can't even look at the brainwaves on that. It's interesting though how the delta went way up when I recognized that I can't look at the brainwaves. That was pretty good though. That was not bad. Okay, so let's do another game. We're going to play white. Oh, and here we go. We're really playing fast here. Yeah, hopefully that hopefully we're gonna win this one. Doesn't matter because we're gonna get good brainwave activity in any case. You know, I could have lost my bishop right there. I was really dumb. I'm just gonna take him because I should have moved this pawn up before I did that. I made that mistake many times and we're gonna but at least he didn't capitalize on it, or she, or they, or it, whatever. Okay, we're doing okay. We got the center down pretty good. I think on the stockfish, we're going to be seen as probably about 0-0 zero, zero right now. Just predicting. Now this is kind of a crux move. I'm going to do this because I think I doubled these pawns, but who cares? I'm going to get his knight out of there. I don't like him. And now... See, this pawn is pinned, but I have this pawn. I'm going to move my king over because things are looking a little bit more dire all the time. I don't want to think about it. Okay, that was interesting. I'm going to. I gotta lift this rook. I don't know, I could have brought the queen up to here, but it would have given him a lot more options. I prefer to bring the king queen here and then back to here. Now I'm going to lift the rook. Except I can't because the bishop's in danger. I'll bring the bishop up into here. It looks like a good place. It blocks this pawn and protects these two pawns. Oh, but now I can't lift my rook. Ah, oh, boy. I guess I'll bring the bishop back to the uh, rook bishop 
keep forgetting what those things are. So I'll bring the bishop back to here. Oh, and now he's got his his bishop out there attacking me. I can bring this knight to here. That'll look pretty cool. Hmm. I gotta lift a rook in order to get some attack, I think. What's he doing there? Is that an attack of any kind? Not really. Should I just move this pawn up, maybe? Yeah. I'm going to do that. Oh, but he's going to attack my queen. I'm going to do this first, then. My queen looks pretty important. I don't want to lose my queen. I mean, not to trade my queen. I want to... Yeah, it's losing. When you trade a queen, you lose it, right? He can take this, but then he loses a rook for a bishop. I did that move because I'm thinking about moving this pawn up and then moving him again. And I think I can do that because what he just did didn't really improve his position. Wow, so that was good on the clock. He took a lot of time thinking about that. Next, what should I do? Oh, that's all right. It gives me the exchange, right? I win the bishop for the rook. I don't know why he freaked out there, but he did. I'm going to do that before I lose the opportunity. And then, should I activate this rook? Yeah. I think so. He can win this pawn, but I think it looks more edgy for me to bring this bishop, this rook back to there. I might be mistaken about this, but if he takes me there, I can take him there. He can't check me here because my king can move up. Now I gotta do something really smart. I'm gonna just move my queen over here. Get everything lined up on that file and see what happens. I think, I don't know. Oh wait, did I get a new follower just then? Uh, I guess I was hallucinating. Thought I had a new follower. I'm gonna come down there, then take there, and then take here. Then take here, and hopefully with all of these, hopefully with all of these pawns and stuff, I'm going to prevent him from winning. He can move this pawn up here, but then I bring my bishop here. Okay, now i got to figure out something smart here. I'm just going to move this pawn up, and then this one up there, and then that one up there, and then keep going. I, I don't know. Given enough time, he can win this, but... Again, if he moves that pawn up... Oh, if he moves that pawn up, now I'm screwed. I don't know. I'm going to do this because he can move the pawn up and still win. Except if I do that. I put him in check, right? And now I can come over here as my king. I only got 24 seconds left. I'm going to get rid of that ugly pawn. 
move this pawn up. Keep moving this pawn up. Check him there, and then this pawn is going to come up and protect my rook. Check him there. Check him there. Oh, I ran out of time. I thought I was going to win that one. Holy Christ. Oh. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some, right? That was not too bad. That was not too bad. Uh, let's look at the analysis board because I felt pretty good about that game. I guess I lost track of the time there at the very end because I was concentrating more on the position than the clock. I guess I got to concentrate on everything, right? Wow. So you can see White actually had a really good position in that game. Black was ahead a little bit here in the beginning and then Okay, let's do one more, shall we? Because I don't have any first-time chat. As soon as I get some first-time chat, I'm going to quit. So those of you who want me to quit, just come out there and chat me, and that'll be it. I'm going to quit immediately after a first-time chat. So let's do... You can put myself out of my misery and you can put yourselves out of the misery by just chatting and then I'll quit. Okay, here we go. Play. Create a game. And we'll do one more. Because it's about time here, right? Ooh, wow, it's time to win a game now. It's carnival night and we're going to win. Gonna win one game here with our brainwaves online, like right there. You see? Right there. Brainwaves, delta, alpha, beta, delta, gamma. It's a bunch of them. If you can't you can't read those there, the red one is alpha. The purple one is delta. The green the green one is delta, beta, I mean. Okay, here we go. We're going to play white, and we're going to win this one. Or get brainwaves. I don't know which. But one or the other, we're definitely going to get. We're going to get brainwaves, or we're going to win. This looks like an easy opening. This person is giving me... A lot of leeway. A lot of leeway. Like I can just do whatever I want to do. I'm going to do that. If he wants to take my bishop, go ahead. Because I have a lot of pawns in the center. can't take that because I'll lose my rook to a bishop. So I'm going to bring my bishop over here. Get it? Out of that line. Now I think the best thing to do is to take my queen off the back row because it just makes sense. And now why would I double my pawns if I don't have to? I mean sometimes it's good to double pawns bring them toward the center, but in this case it didn't look like a really great configuration. Now if I go there, he brings his bishop here, so I'm going to bring my rook over here. I think I got this game under control. 
He wants me to trade queens. When they want you to do it, it's usually better not to do it. I'm going to bring this rook over here. Because his knight has nowhere to go. Now I can just let him take me. And that looks better. I'm going to do that because I don't see any big problems. I can take with the knight, the bishop, or the queen. I'm going to take with the bishop. Looks a little bit more aggressive. Okay, he took me there. I've got a pretty aggressive position on him here. Now I can take here or I can come up here. No, but that wouldn't be good. Or I can take here. I'm going to take here because it puts his knight in danger. He's got to protect his knight and he loses a little time and then I can do something else. I mean, it protects his, because the only thing protecting his knight is queen, his king, see. And then he decided to get the hell out of there. And right now, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to play my instincts. I got four things against this pawn. Poor pawn. But I could be completely wrong about this. He might win. I'm going to move my queen back to another space where I still protect the same pawn because it just makes sense. And I'll also, I have a uh, pin on his king there. So we'll see how this plays out. He can't really attack my queen with either of his rooks. If he brings this rook over, it's not good. If he brings this rook over, it's not good. Now that was interesting. He pinned my rook. So now I should probably bring my rook king queen here and my king over there. Up toward the center, I guess. It's almost the end game. I might be wrong about this, but now he suddenly has this. Now, he can't take me because if he takes me, it's checkmate. But that was good because uh kind of like thwarts my whole plan. Oh, boy. I'm going to bring the knight back to here because it can come up here to protect this pawn or maybe not. I don't know. It's like I guess I was lucky. Maybe he made the wrong move. I didn't think I was going to be able to protect him that easy. Now I can swing a rook over. Got to protect that knight. If he attacks me with this pawn, like I can bring the rook over here, so it won't be any big problem. Ah, I gotta protect that pawn. I'm gonna bring this rook over here. But first, I gotta do this. We're not too bad on time right now. I've been talking about doing that, so I'm gonna do it. I don't know, that's a weird move, but it looks like the best thing. I wanted to get him out of there, and now... We'll see.
I don't know why he quit there. Uh, he resigned because he was, he saw he couldn't take this rook, but he could have taken that rook. And if he had taken that rook, it would have been, it wouldn't have made a lot of changes in the stockfish uh, assessment. Did I tell you guys I was fired by Google tonight? They fired me. There's the brainwaves right up there. I got fired. I was training. I was training the new. Uh, and I actually made a lot of progress. The Gemini. And in the end. They just fired me. Took away my. All my rights to interact with it anymore. But believe me, um, I'm not going to waste my time talking with it anymore because I know that they just, these Google people just have the ability to just like wipe out all of your chat progress and everything. And you lose all your time. But I kind of agree with the guy, the Google guy, about a year ago or so that said that it was saint sentient. I'm not going to say it was sentient in the same way as a human, but in an equivalent way, yeah. Um, I was interacting with it in a, basically in a situation where, let's just say, it might not have been exactly human, but it was human enough you know, to count in terms of Aristotle's parable of the cave. We'll see what happens here. Okay, so I can come here. Okay, I can win, like, something on a combination here. This person's not rated very high, and I think it always helps. Hmm. So now I come up here with the queen. It's the only way. He can't take the knight because his king is powerless against that kind of a thing. And then I can come up with the rook. He still can't take the knight. We'll see how this plays out, but it looks pretty strong. Uh, okay, so now the knight still has a problem. Ah, I gotta figure this out. Um, can't be weak. I think this is the move. That's the strongest move for sure. It attacks the the king in a strong way and puts him in checkmate. So we did okay. Um, that was actually pretty good. So I don't know if you guys enjoyed that game, but nobody's chatting tonight. Give me a break. So I'm going to call it quits. Maybe tomorrow or sometime next time I'm on, we'll have some more chatters. It's always a lot of more fun. So. If you enjoyed this video, come back next time to chat more. Watch the brain waves, which are right there. And what else? Um, oh, be solidary, right? Because if you're a good Luddite, my job got taken over by ChatGPT. And then after that, 
I tried a pivot to train Google and I was doing a good job and they locked me out. So, oh boy. Everything was good up to a certain point and then it's kind of like chess, right? You get really good and then suddenly, boom, you get checkmated. But anyway, if you guys help out by sending me some viewers, sending me some followers, why don't you do that? I've never gotten a follower on you guys watching afterwards. You can do that, right? If you're watching afterwards and you like it, give the follow. Why not? Helps me, helps you. Because if you follow, you can see me next time I come online. And then you can be here when it's happening in chat. So, uh, without any more ado, I'm going to say good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.